Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for a platter yarn haul video. And of course we can't talk yarn without just shortly mentioning that I do have my faithful tea with me here today. And today it's just like a quite neutral black tea with a hint of 11. So it's just, you know, a, a, a bit of a, yeah, a natural comfort tea. So, Plata Yarns is, or Plata is um, a Bulgarian yarn company, and they are the ones that's making the Stanley Yarns. The Stanley Yarns are really, really nice yarns. Um, and I was like, okay, I really need to get some of these cakes because if you haven't noticed yet i am pretty obsessed with cakes in general um it's just you know most of them has this nice color change and and yeah i can't somehow it just fascinates me it's much different than from when i was a child when it was more like just one way color thing or you had the yeah it wasn't really cake at least but maybe i've just been unlucky with the answer it counted when i was a kid who knows Regardless, I have this huge parcel, like, you know, it just fits under my camera. Um, and it's basically, you can barely see it, but I'm going to put it here next to me once I have it open. Um, and the Stanley Cakes, which I've here bought, I should have, if I calculate it right, like 16. No, not 16, 18 new cakes in different yarns and different cakes that we are going to have a look at today. And maybe, just maybe, we are lucky to find something we really, really, really like a lot. Well, I've seen some Stanley yarn holes and, or from Pleta, Pleta.bg, and they look really awesome. So hopefully, I'm as lucky with whatever I chose out. But I can see that I have a big box. It's probably the biggest box of cakes I've ever received. <clears throat> we have, most important, the order sheet. And then all of these Stanley cakes, they are actually wrapped in individually in plastic as well. So I don't even know where to start, but we just need to start somewhere, I guess. Um, so this would be the first one, which is the Muffin Fresh. And they are really, really nicely wrapped up in here. And I really want to just shortly see if I can unlock it a bit for you guys to get a close-up view so I'm nicely removing this one from its bag so this is how it looks like when it's unmuffin and the muffin fresh is let's say it can be washed at 30 degrees and it recommends crochet hook size four to uh, two to four millimeters and knitting needles three and a half to four and a half. It's, as you can see here, it's a four stranded yarn with a center pull defined up here. Um, and it's 100% acrylic. And for this 100% acrylic, you get a 430 grams or actually 2,000 meters of yarn. It's two kilometers of yarn, people. Two kilometers of yarn. It's like more than a mile. It's crazy to think about, right? And it's absolutely gorgeous. And for an acrylic, this feels really soft. Um, I can imagine something really nice could be made of this, like a dress even maybe. I'm not sure if it would fit me though, if there would be enough yarn for that, but I really like this color. Um, see if I actually have a colorway on that. Yeah, it's a thousand seventy one oh one. So I assume it's like maybe colorway related, but except that there isn't really much to say of it. 
Yes, see, they have these lovely hearts for the center pole. Awesome, huh? Which goes in here. Awesome. I need to wrap up all the cakes afterwards back in the bags, actually. Because obviously, it's nice to, it's a good way to keep them not dirty. Let's see. I have one more muffin fresh. Which on the outside is very purple. And then it goes to red. The real question is if I really need to take them all out. I kind of should. This one is the easier one to take out because it's less. Um, so that one's easier. So you can much easier see them out of the plastic. This is more like a rainbow one. Um, and again, with Muffin Fresh, it's 100% acrylics. 430 grams of yarn for a two whooping kilometers. It's it's a lot. And it is it is a fine yarn. And it is again, as mentioned, a hundred percent acrylic. And you have here three threads that you're going to be crocheting with throughout this yarn. It's absolutely lovely. I kind of like it. Hmm? Lovely colours. It's a little bit for like suitable for I would say August. Here in the Netherlands, August we have gay parade. Obviously. So let's see what the wheels have. Just trying to get through the right ones. So I have another muffin fresh here, which I'm going to take out because really just purely concluded that. It makes it easier to actually see the yarns when they are not in these lovely bags. Even though I really like the bags, um, it's not very friendly for showing on YouTube. This is another Muffin Fresh. Same specs as the two other cakes. 430 meters of yarn for... No, 430 grams of yarn for two kilometers. And it's still 100% acrylic. It's still um, a three-threaded yarn with... A center pull that goes on the button though and of course it's from Statex Stanley Muffin Fresh. I like this one it's a nice blue. So that was my Muffin Fresh. I don't think I have more Muffin Fresh yarns in here. I think the rest is if I remember correctly differently should be different here at least. I have here, I don't know why they all call them for cake things, but it makes kind of sense, right? Muffins and stuff like that. So muffin fresh would be the big ones. Now I have a regular muffin. That would be muffin, which is green. Look at this lovely green. Bright green, darker green, very dark green here on the outside. And this muffin is also 430 grams and uh, 2,000 meters. And it's also 100% acrylic. I'm actually surprised this isn't called Muffin Fresh. How did I bump into that one? Again, I just scavenged the website and looked for all the standard yarns and they are really at a good price. Like um, some of these muffin fresh cakes, they, they range around like less than 10 euros um, a cake. So you get like lots of really, really nice yarn for not that much money, to be honest. I have a small one here. So it can't all be big ones, I guess. Again, as I said, it was a pretty big order, at least. I ordered enough to get free shipping. That's how I tend to do things. And here we have one of their vegan cakes. See, they have also the easy start pull here in the middle. So pink, 
yellow, green, and purple. The vegan cake is 80% cut and adds 20% polyester. And you get 220, uh, 250 grams. And for those, you get 1,200 meters. I'm actually surprised how small this is compared to uh, the muffins. Like, it is double as much yarn qua length, but this feels thinner. Um, this is also a multiple threaded yarn, which we can see if I can get it to zoom a bit. But it is, seems spun a bit more together. Yeah, this is spun. Lightly spun. This is lightly spun together. Um, so yeah, that was a vegan cake, which has... And it's, it's actually quite nice to touch with. I'm surprised it's this, this thin. But at the same time, I guess it's matching. So um, for, for further needle details, of course, that's interesting for you guys. They recommend one and a half to two millimeter crochet hook. So it's really a thin hook. So that's for a really thin project. This can be washed at 30 degrees and it can be ironed. Do not tumble dry. Do not bleach. So this is one of these lay flat to dry products. Knitting needles is two and a half to three and a half millimeters. Um, the vegan cake here is, it, it feels pretty nice. Like at second touch, it's nice. But it's definitely some of the, the thinner threads I've seen. Um, which, of course, explains why it's a little bit more petite than I had expected. Um, that's how it is. You can't always win the lottery, I guess. Um, and I'm not disappointed. It's, this is just getting used to what options they have, right? Like, everything is different. It's new brands, and it's not... It's, it's not the same as um, hobbies or whatever, because they just do it differently here. Um, the next cake I have here is 100% natural soft cotton. And I have to say it is soft. Um, it's their uh, cotton cake. And that cotton cake here is these lovely colors. Yellow, greenish, bluish something. I would say teal, maybe, and purple on the outside. Um, 250 grams, a thousand meters. Um, again, compare this one to um, like a hoppy cake, like from the Cotton Kings. This feels a lot less, but of course it's a bit higher. Um, and the thread is a little bit thinner, so it's it's definitely a bit a bit thinner thread. But it is soft. It's quite soft. I, I kind of like this yarn. Um, two to two and a half millimeter crochet hooks, three to four millimeter knitting needles, 30 degrees wash. Again, no tumble dryer and no, um, no bleaching. And they all come with these nice, nice wooden tabs um, that helps with the center pull that starts in the bottom of the cake. So this was one of their cotton cakes, which was 250 meter and a thousand yards. Um, and I can't really relate to, to their numbers for, um, for each here. So I'm sorry about that. Let's see what we else have here. I should have maybe more. It would be easier if I can take the same at least. So we don't go through the same specs. That was also a cotton cake. So I'm just going to try to quickly sort them so we kind of get the same. Just to make it easier for us, right? Yeah, I got it. So... Thank you for your patience for that. But I thought then I don't need to constantly switch, switch around between the specs here. It makes it easier for you and it makes it easier for me. Um, long haul. So again, all of them, they have these nice, pretty nice wooden center pull tags. Um, with, in, in fact, this is like, um, let's see if I can like make it. Oh, need to watch out because this falls off. 
but it's a clover four. So I kind of like these clovers. Um, it's a measure for good luck. You might have noticed I wear one myself. But this is a lovely yellow to orange to red. And it's 100% cotton because it's one of the cotton cakes. Uh, 250 grams, 1,000 meters of yarn, two to two and a half millimeter crochet hooks or three to four millimeter knitting needles. Can't be ironed, washed at 30 degrees. And that's the same for the other cake that I'm about to show in a minute. Um, and looking at these, it, it seems sort of lightly woven with several very thin strands of yarn in it. Um, so these are, it's, it's going to be easy to crochet with, except for the fact, of course, that it's a thinner yarn. So you need to be prepared to sit for a while with a very small crochet hook. I have one more, which is exact same yarn specs. Um, and I kind of like this one, actually. Um, of course, I kind of like them all because it's like a quarter of them. Um, so I do believe that all of them are nice yarns. Mm. Again, another 100% cotton cake. This is just like a very bright, bright, light yellow to a darker yellow. So this is just like a neutral, a neutral cake um, of cotton. Um, again, this is definitely, it's, it's spun together, these cotton cakes. Of very very thin yarns, might be able to get the idea here. So that was my one, two, three cotton cakes, um, and I had three muffin freshes you already saw, and then I had a regular muffin, which had the same specs as the muffin fresh. I'm not really sure what's the difference is there. I have. The vegan cake, which was the one with the 20% polyester. I have one more vegan cake, apparently, which had stuck itself between the rest. So I am going to take out that one for you guys. Before we go on to the remaining cakes I have. This is like a mustardish yellow in the center. Again, you have the easy start pull. It goes to red, dark red, and it's a black outer edge. So this is a really, really nice yarn as well. Um, again, it's the vegan cake. So it's 250 grams, 1200 meters. And therefore you go down to add one and a half to two millimeter crochet hook. Of course, you could also option to buy extra of it and double it up. Um, by then this working with two strains of yarns, um, giving you the ability to um, work with a larger crochet hook. That's absolutely worth consideration. Um, and 30 degrees can be ironed, lay flat to dry pretty much because it's a uh, don't tumble dry and don't bleach. 80% um, cotton and 20% polyester is the contains of this yarn. And it's, it's nice. It's, I would say compared to like the cotton here, the cotton is slight bit softer, but the vegan cake still feels pretty okay. And I have really this big, huge pile of plastic bags right now, but I'll figure out that later. The next chance we're gonna look at would be um, my baby muffins. I ordered three baby muffins here and a baby muffin is basically I would assume a smaller size change than the big muffins or muffin fresh ones. I would say based on me um, but let's look at them this is a very very dark on the inside which goes it's kind of it is black I would almost say brown based on the light but it is actually black in here red towards yellow but it's a very strong like a sun yellow i like it 100 percent acrylics 250 grams of 250 grams you get 1160 meters of a yarn so it is basically a bit of a smaller cake compared to the big muffin fresh cakes of course they also come with a center pull which is in this case a heart 
Um, they recommend two to four millimeter crochet hooks or three and a half to four and a half millimeter knitting needles. Can be washed at 30 degrees and it's, uh, um, you can iron it, but it's lay flat to dry. So like no drying machine and, and no bleaching. Um, and yeah, so that's the baby muffin. And I have two more baby muffins, which I'm just going to pull out of the bags for you to better see them. And this would be the next one, which is very bright, bright white, yellow. And it seems like it has an extra layer of white here at the outer edge before it goes purple and into a dark purple. Um, looking closer to these, they are exactly like the muffins. Um, as mentioned, 100% acrylics, but they do come with a three threaded, um, three loose threads that you have to work with at the same time. Um, so, so you basically hold them together as you do your work. Um, for, for an acrylic, it's still a quite soft acrylic. Um, and you could easily option to hold these obviously together or just hold them loosely individually. Um, I can imagine some of these can turn out to be really, really amazing scarves or shawls. Um, and for bigger pieces, again, depending on what you want, um, there are plenty of opportunities here. You can also just hold them together with a white strand or something if you want to brighten them up a bit. Um, but it would though make more sense if you do hold them together that you do get more cakes of the same colors. Luckily, it's not that far to Bulgaria from here in the sense of that um, the order here arrives in a few days after ordering. Again, they still come with a center pull. They have these four, three strands and this is also a very, very lovely cake. It goes from yellow to peach to red to pink to it's a blue it's not a purple it's a blue very very gorgeous i would say at least um that's my opinion so that was all the baby muffins i have i have this big table kind of growing right now um then i have two cakes of their candy and the candy is, um, if I don't remember wrong, it's a cotton. But we will talk about that in just a minute. Well, I have to unwrap this one. And this is the first candy, as you can see. It's pretty orange, or red to orange. And it's a bright orange peach. Bright peach, I would say. Nude, maybe. That's the skin color looking at it. On the outside um it's a fine weight yarn surprise surprise and i'm trying to find it here it's a hundred percent soft cotton so yes i was right it's a cotton yarn it's 280 grams and for those 280 grams you get 900 meters of cotton that also tells me this is a bit heavier um thread wise compared to for example uh, the vegan cakes it's still like a thin thread here, um, but it is most definitely woven together. And it's, as mentioned, it's a fine yarn. So it's just compare them to um, the Cotton King yarns or um, also um, the Yarn Art Rose Garden or something similar to that. Um, and they recommend crochet hook size <laughs> zero to two millimeters. Um, I would probably say it could still work out pretty well with more than a two millimeter crochet hook again you would always have to make gorgeous watches depending on what you're making and find out what crochet hook you feel work out best for whatever yarn you have chosen um can be washed at 30 degrees um can be ironed do not bleach do not tumble dry um and knitting needles they recommend three to four millimeter knitting needles i absolutely love this color it's gorgeous i really believe this one is gorgeous so this was the one they call a candy. So candy is a bit different than the muffins, yet it's a similar to, to the cotton cake. But again, here's the different in content is this is a bit heavier or thicker woven. Um, 
looking at them, but they are very, very close to being similar, to be honest, if I really look, look closer at them. Um, a bit of its back details is a little bit different, so there is a bit more weight to a bit less yardage. So that's why it's similar to say that it's either it's less airy, um, but it also has overall less um, fibers per yardage which is the reason that I judge it to be a little bit more of a heavier um, option. My second candy, because as I said, I had two of the candies here, would be this gorgeous fella. Yellow, green, blue. I could also just have worked it with a lot of green and more blue on the outer of but this one is pretty as well. Damn pretty. Would make for a gorgeous shawl. Same specs as the one we just had before. It's a candy, so it's 100% soft cotton, 280 grams, and 900 meters of yarn is what you get for this beautiful fella. I have lots of crochet projects coming up apparently with all this yarn. Um, I have two types left now, and the two yarn, two types left. I actually have four cakes left. Um, I have two of each. Um, I have some of the muffin, which is called mini lots, and it's actually not even the same. I see. Huh. Wow. I have three types left. I have one here, which is the muffin mini lots. The muffin mini lots is a speckled yarn. Look at this pretty. The pretty fella. Oopsie daisy. Let's do it like this. You can actually see it's, it's muffin mini lux. This is um, recommended crochet hook three to four and a half millimeters. And I imagine this is to do with the fact it's not just like the muffins uh, three way thread. This is a four way because. Um, you have the three regular threads and then you have the speckled thread thread here. Um, so that's for for them. It's like a, so it's a four threaded yarn, um, which is probably why they recommend you going up the crochet hook size compared to, to the rest. Uh, still wash to 30 degrees, still can be ironed, still don't do anything else. Um, for 250 grams, what you have here you get 90% acrylics and 10% lurex. The 10% lurex is the metallic thread for those that's in doubt. Um, I really like this one. I can imagine this beautifully for a scarf or shawl, shawl, shawl. Pretty, 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 pretty. Then I have what they call a souffle lux here. And all these lux, I do believe are speckled. Um, souffle locks is it's very soft for a speckled yarn. This is what we have here. Ooh, souffle locks, pretty, huh? I like these natural colors. This will go well with me. Um, souffle lux is recommended crochet hook size a one to three millimeters, knitting needles three to three and a half, can be washed at 30 degrees, can be ironed, do not tumble dry, do not bleach, do not do anything else basically than just wash it. Um, what you get in these um, souffle lux is you get 80% cotton, you get 10% polyester, and you get 10% lurex. Again, the 10% lurex is this lovely speckled color, the colorway you have. I really like this one. It is a lot, lot nicer in real life than I thought it would be. So I am happy, very happy. The last two ones I got are the ones they call opals, candy opal. And they are also um, a speckled metallic, one would probably say yarn. And I'm just gonna open both of them because they're very good in them. Yeah. You're gonna see them both in them. 
So the first one of these opal you have here. This is like a small cake. See, they even have a scarf suggestion here. Scarf. Sure. I don't know why I always... I, I tend to mix around the names and scarf and shawls when I talk about them um, sometimes. So, um, yeah, we humans, aren't we? Again, they come with a reflective thread, uh, which is woven around. So this is like the cotton itself is, is spun and then this sort of reflective thread is spun around again like as, as a second string so it's almost like a second string that you will have to crochet with and it's really really thin um, but that's what's giving these sort of not silver effect but rainbow speckled effect of it candy opal they are named um what you want to know about these is you in in a in this one and they are pretty heavy um so they're pretty dense are uh, 300 grams and it contains 85% soft cotton and 15% durex. Um, I'm not sure if those sort of, of fleckles here is, is the durex only because it seems to be less than 15%, but probably is. Um, when it comes to the crochet hook size, we are two to one zero to two millimeters. Um, I would probably say it could also be done with two and a half or three millimeter though. 30 degrees, uh, can be ironed, uh, do not bleach, do not tumble dry. It's considered a fine weight yarn. I totally agree on that. Um, but I'm not sure if I agree with their chosen crochet hook size. Um, three to four millimeter knitting needles. And that's the candy opal. Pretty, it is pretty. And then I got one more candy oval, which I got in blue. And the fun thing is now when I'm sitting here with it, I did not realize it was actually teal as well. Like I just packed it out. and I was like, oh my goodness, that's tealish color. But um, when I'm really like looking up closer here, I think the, the, the reflective or the, the sparkly thread really looks great with the teal, especially greater than with the blue maybe. It really looks, looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I'm positively surprised and impressed with this one. Same specs as the one we just had, Candy Opal. It's the last of the cakes that I ordered. So another 300 grams of lovely cake. And I'm surprised how dense this cake is compared to, to the weight. And it is, it is heavy. It is 300 grams, I absolutely believe that. Lovely, lovely. Lots of lovely yarn here. I cannot wait to use a bunch of it. Um, plenty of more to come, absolutely. Um, I need to get moving on those scarves. I have plenty of plans for scarves. Still not sure what to use the big muffins for, but I will absolutely figure that out over time. Um, it was, again, once more a pleasure sharing my uh, massive yarn haul. So if you haven't done it yet, do please subscribe to my channel. Ring the little bell down below for notifications whenever I do post new videos. Um, because, you know, I will have more yarn hauls coming up, absolutely. Um, I do yarn hauls from companies more or less worldwide, um, but mainly here from Europe. Um, and I also do tutorials. I do yarn talk videos, all sorts of yarny related content. So if you like yarn, if you like crochet, if you like slight bits of knitting, but mainly we are doing crochet and yarn here. If you like that, yeah, subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching this video in full. I hope you enjoyed my Stendi Yarn haul video here from Pleta. Um, if you have any doubts or any questions whatsoever about this, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. Also, just feel free to comment if you have any of these yarns that I showed you today that you believe would be absolutely amazing to work with. Or if you have any suggestions to patterns that you want me to test out with these yarns, I'm absolutely keen to hear those as well. So yeah, 
suggestions below is absolutely welcome for this yarn haul and i will share more about this yarn as we come on for the coming weeks when i start making some stuff with it at least when my other projects are finished up i think that was it for this time thank you for watching my yarn haul video i will see you very soon in a new video so until then take care all the best happy crocheting and happy crafting bye